Hi my dear friends. Today let's travel to Hrensko through German Bad Schandau by railways. First we take a train Bad Schandau Dechin up to Shona. There's no train station in Hrzensko, but on the German side of the river Labie, or also known as Elbe River, trains stop at Shona. It's a small station with connections to Meissen Tribestal in Germany and to Dietschin and Romberg in Czechia. The train journey from Dresden to Shona takes about an hour and a half. If you want to come to Prague by train, you need to change the train in Dechin, or if you want to come to Dresden, you need to change the train in Bad Schandau in Germany. Depending on the connection, the journey to Shona from Prague should take a little less than 2 hours and 30 minutes. After you arrive in Shona, you should have no problems finding the ferry, because it's very close to the train station. The ferry will bring you to Hrzensko on the Czech side of the river. There is no fixed timetable. The ferry leaves when there is a sufficient number of passengers. Chris Rock. Yeah. Yeah. 
Все витаю в Ческу. Вот 
Rum. Když se na našem balkoně výbali, tak je jeden z nás. Hrzensko is located in the lower end of the valley and the space, especially parking space, is limited. Especially during the summer season and on weekends alternative means of transportation are recommended. The town may be reached by Hrzenski Express, a tourist train by public buses, by train, by Alp sightseeing boat Poseidon and by ferry from Shona on the German side of the Elbe river. The access road from Dechin to Hrzensko itself is fascinating for its beautiful scenery of the great sandstorm mountain canyon and the Elb River. The surrounding mountains rise from the canyon hundreds of meters above the river and guard the surroundings. Hrzensko is located about 11 kilometers north of Dechin. It lies on the border with Germany and is adjacent to Bad Schandau and Shona. And suited at the confluence of the Kamenice and Alp rivers in the Alp Valley. In the municipal territory is located the lowest point of the Czech Republic, which is the Alp on the border with Germany with 115 meters above the sea. Despite its low altitude, the surrounding scenery creates an extraordinary sight which will make you feel as if you were in mountains. Nature in which Hrensko is embedded is wonderful. Hrensko lies in the Alp sandstone mountains. Most of the municipality lies in the Bohemian Switzerland National Park. The highest point of the municipality is Oltarjni Kamen with 469 meters above the sea. The border municipality Hrzensko represents an entrance gate into Bohemian Switzerland National Park. Hrzensko is an excellent base for exploring the whole of Bohemian Switzerland and staying there overnight will allow you to fully enjoy the sights in this beautiful region. There are plenty of hotels and guest houses in the village. 
If you come by car, the nearest parking places are in Hrensko or Mesnilovka. Visitors will definitely be amazed by the massive canyon of the Elbe River and the beautiful valley twinning along the river Kamenice. A large part of the municipality is suited in this valley, which is surrounded by rocks from both sides. Low temperatures between the rocks make it possible for mountain plants to grow here, which at altitude this low is a great curiosity. Arensko is a starting point for trips to Pravchitska Brana, the largest natural stone bridge on our continent, and to the gorge of the Kamenica River, where it's possible to take a boat ride with ferryman's comments. The history of the area where Hrensko is suited goes back to the beginning of the 15th century. In documents of Bergs of Visoka Lipa from the year 1408, there is a reference about the deviation from the Cheska Road to a tavern located on the shore of the Elbe River. The tavern used to serve sailors and raftsmen. Next written reference about Hrensko from the year 1475 refers to an assault on the three Nuremberg merchants. The place had been well known, the already mentioned deviation from the Cheska road led here, to the river Elbe. Near the delta of the Kamenica river, there was a wood storage, also a mill was in service. Timber rafting required lumberjacks and sailors to build their own shacks here. In the years 1530 and 1550, new settlers began to arrive. No longer only wood was floated on the Elbe River, but also grain, glass and salt was stored in Hrensko storages. At that time, Saul Hansens were the owners. After their bankruptcy in the 1612, creditor Johann of the Württemberg became the owner of Hrensko, and since the year 1664, the owner is the Clary Aldringens. After the death of General John of Aldringen in the Thirty Years' War, the possessions were divided between their heirs. And so it happened that inhabitants of Agensko and Mezna were governed by four authorities. Only during the region of Francis Carl in the year 1708 were all parts merged together, thus forming the Brinsdorf Mastodon. In the 17th century, the importance of Hrensko as a trading center had risen. Timber working remained the vital industry. In the 18th century, there stood four sawmills in Hrensko. One of them had been then transformed into a hospital during the cholera epidemic. Several raft tying workshops were in service. Timber was floated to more distant places. Great speciality were huge. Hundreds of years old trunks, which were delivered to naval shipyards and used to manufacturing the masts of sailboats. Timber was also used for homemade shingles, dishes, tools, hot poles and other goods. In charcoal pits in the woods, charcoal and grease was made, and mushrooms were traded. Because of grain trade, mills have been developing. In Hrensko there were three of them. The younger one had been converted into the Umlena Hotel, after a fire, today the Klepach Hotel. Mining and processing of sandstone was another important industry. It was being exported far to Dresden. 
for local people, clandestine trade was also a source of income. Salt, tobacco, cloth and other goods were smuggled here. However, after the Thirty Years' War, the border was better guarded. In the year 1656, there was a documented a station that was in charge of control of the salt trade. And in the 30th of the 18th century, a tool booth. The introduction of steam navigation had a big significance. The very first steamboat sailed through Hachensko on the 15th of June 1838. General development of the 18th century had no significant influence on Hachensko. The only industrial company was a chemical plant producing sheep wool and silk dyes. Soon the property had been converted into a branch of a Dresden company producing threads used in sewing machines. In the 18th century, tourism in Hajensko begins to evolve, supported by the master dom's owner Duke Edmund Clary Audrigan. In the 30s of the 18th century, the path to the Pravchitska Brana was built. Also hotels, pensions and taverns were being built. In the year 1862, Gustav Kreibich founded a local company, which among other things sold photographs and picture postcards of Žensko. In the year 1890, the gorges are finished and opened. In the year 1890, the gorges are finished and opened. In the year 1878, sections of the Czech Switzerland Mountain Club are forming in Hrčensko and Visoka Lipa. Its members build trails, roads, observation points, handrails, benches, bridges. They also published promotional and educational prints and organized various meetings. If you like the video, click the like, leave a comment, share it and surely don't forget to subscribe the channel.